Prayer for Elimination, harvesting God as we listen to your word by our Holy Spirit, lead our hearts in a way everlasting. Our first reading comes from the book of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. Besides me, there is no God who is like me. Let them proclaim it, let them declare and set forth before me, who has announced from the old of the things to come who has told us what yet to be. Do not fear or be afraid, have I not told you of old and declared it. You are my witness. Is there any God besides me? There is no other rock. I know not one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart to revere your name. I will thank you, O Lord my God, with all my heart. And glorify your name forever. For great is your love toward me. You have delivered me from the pit of death. The arrogant rise up against me, O God, and a band of violent people seeks my life. But you, O Lord, are gracious and full of compassion. Slow to anger and full of kindness and truth. Turn to me and have mercy on me. Give your strength to your servant and save the child of your handmaid. Show me a sign of your favor so that those who hate me may see it and be put to shame. Our next reading comes from the book of Romans. So then, brothers and sisters, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is that very spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If in fact we suffer with him so that we may also be glorified with him. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory about to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not of its own, but will, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and will obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning in labor pains until now, and not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, grown inwardly while we wait for the adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope, for, for who hopes for what is seen? But if we hope for what we do not see, we will wait for it with patience. The word of the Lord. <laughs> 